think that's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hon. I know, but if it feels incomplete, you get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're still heads. Oh. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some changes. I think it's alright. His memories more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Oh, why is this music so... Oh my god, we fast. Why are you not an astronaut? <laughs> Johnny? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is. I'm not saying it twice. <laughs> Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Simon Agency of Life generation? Are you two from the agency? Convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well... Wait here, I'll just send the desire signal again. See if there... It, see if there are any changes. Transfer successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to? Let's go. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some more st some stimulation to be brought up. lighthouse from the but that this wasn't what they said was playing oh well do you mind river no I like this one all right let's go then hopefully that's enough for an ignition Wait, where's Neil? Oh, 
are they? Oh, hi guys. <laughs> Am I supposed to sing that to the moon, darling? Oh, Henry. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Okay. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. <laughs> oh, Henry. And this movie was supposed to <laughs> make him want to become an astronaut. Like, it's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Uh. uh really? Oh, w what? How did I get there? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, back in here? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her now. Hey. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh, did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting, let's go get a good spot. What? Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Huh? They're going to the gym. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is- <laughs> No, Neil, what are you doing? May I have your attention, please? Oh, no. What is he wearing? A oh, foil? Neil, really? As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. <laughs> Wearing foil, tin foil, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it to me! Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Face palm. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in, in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus? To swim counterclockwise <laughs> through the rings of Saturn? Or, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe <laughs> that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you! Oh no, don't tell me he's just gonna go to Johnny and point at him. <laughs> or you! <laughs> or perhaps... Oh no, Neil! Neil! <laughs> How convincing! But I don't want to go to the moon, huh? <laughs> then you're in love. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. <laughs> Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. <laughs> huh? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. 
To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh no, Neil. Did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon... <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 seconds to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that! <laughs> and last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> what? Convincing. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was bla blatant enough for this. <laughs> I can't read it. Hmm, <laughs> I did try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. <laughs> but I didn't want to go to the moon. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Well... <laughs> Neils. I can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. I can barely afford- Oh my god, but can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? <laughs> oh my god, Neil. If you sell this house, you sure can! No... The diagnosis is certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely have any- Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. Oh, what? <laughs> the free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh look, a wedding, good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? Oh. <laughs> River? Uh, dang nabbit glass slippery. Johnny, John. <laughs> the cucumber. <laughs> Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that it would be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Jenny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Oh. Oh.
That doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's reg registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred yet. There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. She's thinking so hard. There's no denying that a river played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. Sus. But uh, out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? The sun's rising. She's been thinking all night. Oh my. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Ready? Sunset. You can smell that squirrel Neil ran over. Huh? Run. <laughs> ran over all the way from here now. What? Oh, where's Neil? Hey, dog. How's John doing? Really hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. Better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Yeah, Brian is in the kitchen. Yeah, buddy. No, oh, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarter? Yes, I'll fill you, I'll fill you in laughter. Now shh. <laughs> Just shh. Wait, isn't this? Where did you find it? The lighthouse before we started. Now for the last time. Shh. <laughs> Bro. You're gonna strain your eye. S Right, that part we can do. Okay. To find something. Okay, let's check everything. Okay. Aww. What kind of song is this? It's just too not repeated over and over. I 
I don't think I'd be able to open this now. A little creepy. Still creepy. Oh, hey, but Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Oh, you can sleep. Shh, let them sleep. Oh, you cuties. And? Yeah. Oh, you knocked off all the books. Guys. Okay, you kids sleep. Where are you going, ma'am? I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Uh, about you. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. Two children and all, I mean. Not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked, our savings were low, and, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with grieving. With my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows? What? Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to, to help get them back on their feet? They do, but eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think, deep down, he really wanted a family. Tell me about your kids. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I don't know. I'll probably make something up. But it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. What are your plans? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Okay. Oh. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Uh, do I want to 
go outside. Are you done, Neil? Hmm. What is it? Seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to be what? I'm not getting that sentence. <laughs> Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in search a large mouth. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. <laughs> Neil. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be- Oh my god, I can't read. <laughs> and once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? Just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, oh my god. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and exit in uh, <laughs> a tap tap case. <laughs> Something that exists strongly in the bridging in the in the in excess of okay, you can't get to that memory shit, bro. And we'll need <laughs> and we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something. John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going I'm going out to get some fresh air. He all cares so much. Ahem, <laughs> forgot my coffee. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it smells! <laughs> quit barging in and, <laughs> and uh, quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva, it smells! I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It's the same smell. What's he talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? <laughs> I'm... what? Means that smell is arguably the most effective smell- Oh my god, I... <laughs> Oh my god, guys. <laughs> my brain. He means- Oh my god, and the music is getting epic, I can't keep up. <laughs> 
He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he is still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. We just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Oh, thank you, Lily. <laughs> they aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. <laughs> okay. Neil? I hate you. Those gloves look good on you, dear. Oh, shut your mouth. Are you just gonna stand there? At least go monitor Johnny with his doctor. No, I'll pass. Watching someone wither away helplessly just isn't my cup of tea. Of coffee? My god, how did I read that cup of tea? <laughs> coffee. Obviously coffee. <laughs> okay, let's go girl. Let's go get a dead squirrel. Sprint, sprint. Oh. Deja vu. Yep. <clears throat> I hope he wasn't your friend. Hey, buddy. <laughs> The kind of things just this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring a piece of germ infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It would at least make its odor controllable. Get it, girl. How oh, back with Neil? But what is he up to? Where are you going? Ninja. I... I gotta go take a leak. There are toilets inside. <laughs> what a mess. The crush shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, uh, here it is. Valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. <sighs> Neil. Ugh. Okay, let's just go back. Neil, what are you up to? What are you up to but... Oh, hey! Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up, I'll be right back. Well, where are you going? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. My Tamagotchi. What? Yeah, do that. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry. <laughs> hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What? We 
you got someone dying back there. The potatoes you have to <laughs> just get something with veggies. I have no time to check on him right now. You yeah, girl. Cactus, cucumbers, and potatoes. There you are. So when we get to that exact point, I'll send I will send a signal. When I do I want you to release the file for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. You made sure the germs were sealed off. Fully sealed and filtered. I like it matter to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating. That's so long. Fast. <laughs> That's getting bad. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Luck's the last thing we need. Only skill. They shine their lights at the, uh, the other lighthouses, and at me. Oh, I'm back with mom. Let's go. Johnny? To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it out of space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. Its condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be re reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. Get out of his memory, now. What are you talking about? This system doesn't restabilize soon. The shop might permanently damage whoever's in there. You've got to be kidding. Why are you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out, get out under the state, all the work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. <laughs> Do you know how badly he smells? <laughs> Where's then the roadkill? Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exit. Oh. Okay. You stabilized. <laughs> Doctor? I think we're okay for now. I'm 
guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, <laughs> you... Neil, we know. Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> Tough love. Well, how do I get there? Where do I go? <laughs> oh. Oh. Here goes nothing. Oh. small wow I can't believe that worked so we actually made it now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place what do you mean it seems peaceful enough Neil did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier uh what there's something strange in there did you not see it I... I suppose not? Never mind. I just hope I, I'm wrong. Johnny? Hey, Ma? Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them... there one day. Okay. Ma planning some stuff. Hey, Johnny, what are you doing? Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. But how many of him are he there? It's like a zoo. <laughs> Cause kids are just animals. Mm-hmm. Hey, Johnny. It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and it's just chasing it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Roadkill. It's a theme by now. I think I saw another John. Uh, I didn't. The, the roadkill I wanted to. Uh. Oh, jeez. Look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boy- To the boys? For me? I will, I'll see you around. Huh? Well, this is the end of the road. You were saying... Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place... It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit. Duh. We need to go back, now. Hey, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. I didn't check on the roadkill. Wait, huh? Oh. What? What? Oh. Do 
boys? don't understand. He wasn't conscious. How could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. What? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Oh, Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! But, but her mom calls him Joey. I mean, his mom, my god. Joey? Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must have feel. At least Johnny had the better blockers to erase the memories. Not like he remembers it. Oh my god, not like he remembers it much. Puzzly linked. Unlinked, my god. <laughs> Puzzly unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. Not their mother. I don't think she took the better blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least... I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Oh, it, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three bucks straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. <laughs> My, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, raw, 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 raw. <laughs> And then they pick up lasers, and it's all pew 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 <laughs> pew 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 pew. Stop that. <laughs> Just watch Johnny. One day I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. Aww. I'll make us rich, and buy both you and Mob really big houses. Or would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Oh my god, Johnny is so... <laughs> free for the kids, the parents will still have to pay, of course. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. Johnny is such a grown-up. <laughs> What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh no, he's just sulking. 
Oh, come on. I called for his tips on the train fa fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Oh no. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? <laughs> I don't think he cares much about the train, Joey. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours too. Aww. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like part of me. Oh, <laughs> oi. Let's get confused the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. Any morphs. <laughs> 